In today's video, we'll be diving into the latest developments surrounding the MC stock, particularly focusing on the controversial strategies being employed by hedge funds and institutions to manipulate the price. Specifically, we'll discuss the implications of buying AMC options versus stocks, as highlighted by a recent Investor Place article, and how this ties into the broader scheme of suppressing AMC share price. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember, this is not a financial advice video. Let's start by examining the key points from the article in question. It encourages investors to purchase AMC options instead of AMC stocks, suggesting that options provide a safer play. However, there's an underlying issue here that must be addressed. When you buy options instead of stocks, you're not contributing to the buy pressure that would typically push the stock's price up. Essentially, you're not directly influencing AMC's price by buying options, unlike when you purchase actual shares. This distinction is critical because for months, possibly even years, hedge funds and institutions have been working tirelessly to diminish the buying pressure on AMC. They've utilized various tactics, including routing orders through dark pools and employing synthetic shares, to keep AMC's price from rising. By pushing the narrative that investors should buy options rather than stocks, the media possibly influenced by these institutions is attempting to divert attention and reduce the impact of retail investors on a MC share price. In the past, we've seen media outlets and financial analysts urge the public to stay away from a MC stocks altogether, labeling it as a bad investment. Now, the narrative has shifted slightly. They're not telling you to avoid a MC entirely, but are instead subtly guiding you towards options, which, as mentioned, do not contribute to upward pressure on the stock's price. Another point to consider is the language used in the article. It describes trading a MC stock as a play, which is a term that trivializes the investment and may discourage potential investors. This kind of rhetoric is not accidental. It's designed to make investors think twice about buying a MC shares, thereby reducing the buy sentiment around the stock. Furthermore, the article suggests that if you are bullish on an MC, you should buy call options with a strike price that is unlikely to be reached within the given time frame. This advice is problematic for several reasons. First, options are time sensitive, and buying options that expire in a few weeks does not align with the long-term investment strategy that many AMC shareholders have adopted. The idea behind holding AMC shares is to withstand the volatility and wait for the inevitable price surge which many believe will happen due to the strong underlying fundamentals of the company. AMP's current trading price of around $5, a significant drop from its previous high of $50, doesn't reflect the company's true value, especially when considering recent improvements in its fundamentals and the overall positive outlook from technical analysis. This discrepancy between the stock's current price and its perceived value adds another layer to the argument against buying options. If the stock is indeed undervalued, then holding shares rather than options would make more sense, as shares do not expire and can benefit from long-term appreciation. Moreover, this push towards options instead of stocks seems to be a calculated move by those who benefit from keeping a MC's price suppressed. We've seen time and time again how hedge funds and institutions have engaged in tactics such as routing orders in dark pools, creating synthetic shares, and other manipulative practices aimed at preventing a MC's price from rising. The promotion of options over stocks could be seen as just another extension of these tactics. By steering retail investors towards options, they can continue to suppress the stock price without as much resistance from the buying pressure that comes with purchasing actual shares. Additionally, the article's advice to purchase options also coincides with the observation that a MC has been subject to a significant amount of spoofing a tactic where large orders are placed and then canceled before they can be executed creating the illusion of selling pressure and artificially driving the price down. We've seen this in action, as evidenced by hidden orders for MC shares that couldn't be traced back to any specific entity. This type of manipulation is designed to keep retail investors from buying into a MC by creating a false sense of market sentiment. The fact that this continues to happen reinforces the idea that there are powerful forces working to keep a MC's price from reflecting its true value. 
The article also fails to address the difference between buying options with the intent to exercise them and simply trading options as speculative instruments. In the case of GameStop GME, we saw the impact of Roaring Kitty exercising his options, which created significant buy pressure and contributed to the stock's price surge. If investors in AMC were to buy and exercise their options, the situation would be different, as it would involve actual share purchases, thereby increasing the buy pressure. However, the article doesn't encourage this approach. Instead, it suggests that investors should merely trade options, which would not contribute to a price increase. Further complicating the situation is the ongoing delay in the implementation of the Consolidated Audit Trail Cat system, which is designed to provide greater transparency in the stock market and protect retail investors. The Cat system was supposed to be rolled out in full on August 1st, but it has been delayed once again, this time to August 26th. This delay is concerning because it suggests that there is resistance to increased transparency, possibly from those who have something to lose from it. The delay allows short sellers and other market manipulators to continue their tactics without the additional oversight that the CAT system would provide. For MC investors, this is yet another hurdle in the battle against the forces trying to suppress the stock's price. Hedge funds and institutions have been relentless in their efforts to control the narrative around a MC. For the past three and a half years, they've employed bots, bad actors on social media, and paid for countless negative news stories about a MC, all with the goal of convincing retail investors to sell their shares. This strategy has included dire predictions about a MC's imminent bankruptcy, a claim that has been repeated year after year without ever coming true. In 2021, we were told a MC would go bankrupt by the end of the year. The same prediction was made in 2022, 2023, and now 2024. Yet, AMC remains standing, which raises serious questions about the credibility of these doomsday forecasts. Given this history of manipulation, the current push to buy AMC options rather than stocks should be viewed with a healthy dose of skepticism. The underlying motive seems clear, to prevent retail investors from applying the kind of buy pressure that could force the stock's price up, which in turn would hurt the positions of those who have heavily shorted AMC. The promotion of options over stocks is just another tactic in a long line of efforts aimed at suppressing AMC's price. Moreover, there is growing evidence that cryptocurrency is being used to manipulate the stock market, including AMC. Institutions are using methods such as rolling futures, staking, swapping tokens, and removing liquidity at key moments to manage their margins and avoid significant losses. This kind of manipulation is complex and difficult to trace but it's clear that it's being used to keep a MC's price down. The use of these tactics shows just how desperate some are to maintain control over the market and prevent retail investors from gaining the upper hand. This brings us to the events of January 27, 2021, when millions of a MC shares were settled for fractions of a penny. This settlement tactic was used to maintain margin at a much lower cost than settling at the actual closing price of AMC which was $19.90 on that day. This kind of settlement manipulation, which involves exploiting loopholes to avoid paying what is owed to retail investors, has been a recurring theme in the battle over a MC stock. While these tactics may have helped hedge funds and institutions in the short term, they have not resolved the underlying issue these entities still need to close out their positions, and they are running out of ways to delay the inevitable. The recent proposal by NASDAQ to change rules in a way that could potentially benefit short sellers is another red flag for MC investors. This proposal, which seems to be aimed at making it easier for short sellers to target small public companies, raises serious concerns about the integrity of the market. Instead of enforcing stricter trade settlements to protect retail investors, these proposed changes would make it even easier for market manipulators to continue their activities. On top of all this, we've seen that a significant number of symbols, including AMC, had failures to deliver FTDS on every trading day from July 1 to 12, 2024. This persistent issue with FTDS further underscores the challenges AMC faces in a market that is stacked against it. The reported numbers from Verdu Financial, which includes $6.287 billion in financial instruments sold but not yet purchased, add another layer of complexity to the situation. These figures suggest that the extent of short selling and market manipulation is far greater than what has been publicly acknowledged, 
and that a MC is right in the middle of this financial tug of war. Finally, it's worth noting that many hedge funds are reportedly just a margin call away from a financial implosion similar to the one that took down Archigo's capital management. The precarious position these funds are in could lead to a sudden and dramatic shift in the market, particularly for heavily shorted stocks like AMC. The question is not if but when these margin calls will be triggered and what the fallout will be for MC and its investors. In conclusion, while the advice to buy AMC options instead of stocks might seem like a sound strategy on the surface, it's crucial to understand the bigger picture. This narrative is part of a larger effort to suppress AMC's stock price and prevent retail investors from exerting the kind of buy pressure that could lead to a significant price increase. As AMC investors, it's important to stay informed, question the motives behind the advice we receive, and make investment decisions that align with our long-term goals. The battle for MC is far from over, and the outcome will likely depend on the persistence and resolve of its shareholders. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.